Hello everyone and welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. I want to do a little update on the piggery here. We're going to be starting the, the first phase of the building up on the plateau of the new piggery up there. But we're thinking uh, that we're going to redesign and rebuild uh, part of the piggery we have here. Uh, in hopes that we can cut down on our labor a bit. I wasn't here uh, when most of this piggery was built. Uh, we just continued on the, the... When Marcel and I first started this, this is, these four pins right here were going to be all that we were going to do. But as time went on, when I was back in the States uh, working to raise capital, uh, we decided to build more pins and instead of redesigning the the basic construction because for for four pins this is fine uh, but we didn't change it around we just kept adding pins and what we should have done is put an aisleway uh, down the middle and we made these pins extra large uh, so there is space so it's going to be costly but I think what we're going to do is knock out the center divider here and put a walkway down the center all the way down to the end. That'll involve redoing all the plumbing and uh, cementing in a walkway. Um, it's just you know, the way it's set up and designed right now it's really labor intensive uh, to keep the pens clean. Um, we're going to change it around also. We're going to experiment with, a, with uh, six of the pins at first. But we're going to uh, take out the cement floors and uh, put about two feet, two and a half feet of rice hull in. Um, I've had differing reports from locals here on how uh, effective that is. There's a name for it. I, I think it, uh, the name I'm thinking of it originated, uh, it's a Korean style farming. Uh, we did it in the States. Uh, when I was real little, I remember uh, people putting uh, straw down for bedding for the pigs. Um, but we're not going to do that here. I think I, uh, when I had talk, talked about doing it that way uh, with a local here, uh, he had told me that he's, he has friends here that have large piggeries, uh, hundreds of pigs, and had done it that way. Uh, but that the humidity uh, here in the Philippines uh, just makes it a stinking mess. Uh, but I'm going to uh, try it a, a little bit different way. I'm going to line the bottom of the here the way that they do it is that they put rice or they put uh, salt in with the rice holes and it, it keeps the smell down but I want to compost those rice, rice holes every three or four months when we uh, completely clean the pins out and put in new rice holes so I don't want to add salt to it because that will contaminate uh, our soil over time uh, because those after the rice holes are composted of course we want to put them in the field so what I'm going to do is add charcoal, a layer of charcoal uh, on the ground and then the rice holes above that. Uh, I think that'll cut down a great deal on the smell. It'll, uh, it'll allow the, the rice holes to uh, compost a bit in the pins so that there's a head start on it when we take the rice holes out and actually put them in a composting pile. It's going to be a lot of labor, but uh, I'm thinking that's just the way that we're going to do it. Because this takes a long time every morning and a lot of water uh, to keep these pins clean. And we've noticed uh, in, the, in the forays of our bore, because uh, we've, uh, we've been introducing the bore for a little fun time with some of the sows, the floors of these pins, because they're cement, and this, this pin in particular, I don't know if it's going to show up on video, but there's quite a slope to it. 
and if they're wet, you know, with uh, if they've just been cleaned out or if there's urine on it and it makes it wet, then they're slippery. And uh, the boar in particular has a hard time uh, taking care of business and the sows have a hard time, uh, well, how should we say, uh, holding still, I guess you could say. Uh, all these pins here uh, have a bit of a slope to them. So I think we're just going to completely redesign these and use the rice hole format because the rice holes are kind of self-leveling. So we'll just do a few pins uh, to start with to see how it goes. We'll have to take out uh, all the cement on the floors and the center dividing wall and then put in a wall uh, and put in a walkway and that'll require a wall on each side of the walkway. But uh, it's just, I mean it would work the way that it is but it's not, uh, it's just not top notch what I'd like it to be. I'd like this to be uh, a profitable business and even though labor here is cheap in the Philippines uh, it still uh, uses too much water and Maricel and I have hired uh, a lady, Ippy, that's her down there using the pressure washer. And now when Maricel and I were cleaning these pens, we would come in with the water and the broom and it would take us about two hours, two and a half hours each morning to clean these pens out. Uh, Ippy is a is a thorough worker, let's put it that way, and she gets these pins really clean with that pressure washer. But it's taking her about five hours and probably 500 gallons of water, and it's just too much. It's not that we don't want to pay Ippy her wages every day, we'll still keep her on, uh, but the main savings would be in water and just time. So we're going to change this around. I, don't, I haven't penciled out what the cost is going to be yet. We have the charcoal. The rice holes will be free. Uh, the cement, just a wild guess, cement and labor to completely change this barn around. You're being real vocal there, darling. What's the matter? Huh? huh? What? What is it? What? Uh, I'm thinking at least a hundred thousand pesos, which would be a couple thousand US dollars to change this around But it'll be something that uh, We can uh, really go to town with when it's finished So that's gonna that's our plan for now a Little update on the pigs we're, we're gonna have to do another perk walk with the boar here uh, it helps the sows come into heat faster if he can wander by and, and they do a little uh, smell vision as they go. Helps the sows come into heat and he'll let us know which ones are are getting ready by smell because he can tell. And they get a little flirty as well when they come into heat. So we're just gonna we're gonna do his perp walk here in a few minutes. Thank you, everyone. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.